and so Funker Martial Arts, it's JD here. So listen, I'm a huge fan of the Filipino martial arts guys. I've been doing this for a while now. Lots of time, lots of rep, lots of hours. The problem is, you spend all this time learning all these super cool tricks and these amazing moves and you know how to do all these great things, but then you go to spar and you wind up disappointed. Why is that? Let's take a look at it. So, I've got Anthony here and we're gonna do just a little bit of flow, right? So you, when we go through and flow, I can do all these super neat tricks here, man. You know, like, look at what we're doing. It's beautiful stuff. It's artistic, right? We're exploring all these different angles and there's nothing wrong with that. You should do that. You're building all kinds of amazing attributes. Speed, timing, coordination, right? You're working on precision, range. It's beautiful, it's amazing. However, what happens when you spar? Okay. So if we start, if I say we're flowing, we look like this. Then I'm like, hey, we're sparring. Then it turns into one of these, right? Now we're looking for that way in, back and forth, yeah? So what happened? What happened was we added the element of fear, right? We added the element of fear. So now what can we realistically do, okay? What can we realistically do? So when he goes maybe to thrust low, boom, here, shoulder, stab the arm, slash the neck and disengage because we train ourselves to stay in this pocket, right? When we flow, we train for this pocket. You notice how you never stay in that pocket when you actually start sparring though? So when we go, boom, out and get away. I'm not telling you not to flow. What I'm telling you is add to your flow. Add some of these disengagements. Wound your intended target. Wound, wound, right? Disengage, observe, why? In real life, people are hard to kill. They don't just fall over dead. That's video games and movies, guys. If, if he's stabbed and slashed, he's, doesn't, he's not gonna fall over. He's probably still flailing with that blade. I need to get away from him. Did you know what a tie in a knife fight is? A loss. All right, again, so let's take a look. So I can stab the shoulder here. If he comes low, stab the shoulder here. Why am I stabbing? I want to stop this point of articulation, cut the throat, maybe create another injury, out. No more than two to three moves. Modify this. Let me know what you come up with, right? Let me know what you create based on your style. Maybe I go through and I do all of this, but then boom, he gets this hit, right? You see a lot of these simultaneous contacts that are made where I got him, oh, and he gets me. Because I can only track so many things as a human being. I'm just a person, right? So it's happening so fast, boom, in, out, done. Get away, get away from him. That way if he's flailing and thrashing, re real life, I'm probably just doing this. Right. And let him leak out. When you wound, disengage, and observe, uh, a part of that observation needs to be self-observation, right? Because yeah, absolutely. Because you said that you, you know, if you get cut, he gets cut. You need to know where you are because, you know, you, you may have plans all day long, but if you're bleeding out and you didn't know it, that's right. a dangerous situation. Right, and you won't feel it. I mean, you, you know, you're not, your nociceptors or nociceptors aren't firing anymore. Like you register pressure. That's what happens to your body. You're registering pressure. You have no tactile sense. You have endorphins in your body, right? Your body is doing pooling of the blood, right? So it's sucked blood out of the appendages to protect the organs here at the core, right? You have no sense here. I mean, I could be lacerated wide open and have no clue. You have to be able to train this safely. What do you think some solutions might be? The sparring game. Uh, it's a thing we did. Now again, guys, is it real life? No, but it's going to give you a different perspective. That's what it's designed to do. Okay. What's the sparring game? Look so the like? sparring game, the sparring game is if let's say I'm slashing and he cuts my arm, right? I can't use this appendage, right? This arm is now out, but I can still move. I can still use any of my other appendages so I can still fight with my left. This is to let you know that people are still in the fight, right? Just because you cut that guy's arm doesn't mean he may drop the knife, but he's going to try to pick it up. Okay? Got it. Any stab to the core, right? Neck, anything like that, that's the finish. Cool. Start over, that's the point. If you cut the leg, down to a knee he goes. Now he's got to fight from here. Lose two appendages, you're out of the game. Get stabbed in the body, you're out of the game. Right, so this is a game, obviously it's not realistic. Well, it's designed to be fun. Listen guys, if martial arts, if you're training and, you're, and, and your training isn't fun, why are you doing it? Why? I mean, if you got a super hardcore gym where you guys are beating the snot out of each other all day long and everything's got to be super realistic, you ever notice your attendance kind of goes down? I mean, it has to be enjoyable at some point or you're not going to stick with it. Again, guys, I'm JD, Funker Martial Arts. Stay tuned and leave a comment below.
Yeah, we hit a bone and it bounced off that bone. I didn't know there was a bone in there. Look at this, continues all the way down. Still about a two inch wound channel or about an inch to about an inch and a half.